Today in the modern parent, few things here in New England are as anticipated and fun for kids as a snow day. However, sometimes it can be tough for parents to know just exactly what to do with the youngsters when they're home unexpectedly from school. We recently traveled to the Children's Workshop in East Greenwich to get some advice from the experts on this very topic. Step number one for handling a snow day with children, you'll want to be prepared. I would really, you know, advise parents to be as prepared as possible. Think ahead, um, even if there's no snow in the forecast, be prepared. Have a basket of activities ready to go for your kids that only comes out on a snow day. Get creative. A snow day is a great opportunity to try some new, seemingly unconventional activities, like even bringing the snow inside. If you want to bring your snow inside, you can use buckets, you can use bowls. Get some spoons out of your kitchen, and if you want to make it extra fun, you can use some food coloring with water. They can paint the snow, they can make a snowman, and if you wanted to save your snowman, you can stick them in the freezer for the next day. Or maybe even trying an indoor picnic. You know, make it fun. Make it a little bit untraditional. Maybe you can set up a picnic inside of your home. Make it fun, set a blanket on the floor. Naturally, you'll want to utilize some old favorites as methods of entertainment as well. Chances are your kids probably have a ton of board games and the ones at the bottom probably are never getting used. So it's always a good idea to maybe keep five, toy, five games on the shelf and keep some games up in the cupboard and maybe rotate them every now and then. It's also a great time to begin some new traditions that you can all enjoy for years to come. So maybe every year um, when you have a snow day, there's a special activity that you do, whether it be maybe you make hot chocolate and s'mores, or whatever the case may be. So set a tradition, but also take photos. Create memories. Maybe they have a special place in your home. Maybe you have a special photo box that just has photos of your family in the snow. How can you create a memory? So in 20 years from now, your kids look back and say, every snow day, my family did this. So like I said, it could be sharing a special meal, playing a special game, or listening to some special songs. A snow day is also an ideal time to teach or reinforce to them the importance of responsibility. We all always have, you know, chores or things that always need to get done around our homes. Everybody always has loose ends that need to be tied. So give them a list of items to do. Maybe there are three or four chores you'd like your kids to complete and after we complete these chores then we get to do this fun activity. Finally, fire up that computer when the time is right so you can help to keep those minds fresh for when it's time to return to the classroom. It's really difficult to transition back into school, back into the reading and the writing and the structure of school. So, you know, if you have a computer available and you have internet access, I would definitely encourage parents to look up some, you know, great online websites that have learning activities to really engage the kids in active thinking. So, you know, are they thinking about math and science and reading versus, you know, other games that just really don't engage them in higher level thinking. These helpful tips will ensure that your next snow day is enjoyable and educational for all involved. Nice shot there by yours truly. Well, those are certainly some great pieces of advice, and we thank our friends at the Children's Workshop for letting us drop in on them once again. I know my mother will definitely be using some of those suggestions with me next time I'm home for the day due to the weather, just so everyone is aware. For additional tips and information on this topic, please visit our website at WPRI.com roadshow.